Tips for building in vegetation classification. Here are some tips to help you classify your building in vegetation points. Ensure that noise and ground points are classified first. This step is important because part of the building and vegetation classification process includes looking for points a specific height above the ground. There are two different classification methods in the non-ground classification tool, segmentation and gridding. Gridding is the original legacy method. LiDAR used to be predominantly gathered by fixed wing aircraft and that's the only type of data that this method is built to use. The gridded method works by looking for planar or flat building features. Points that aren't roughly on the same flat surface structure as their neighbors are assumed to be vegetation. If building points are missed, try increasing your maximum clo planar distance setting. If vegetation is being erroneously classified at the edges of buildings, try increasing the minimum vegetation distance. For LiDAR data collected via drone, terrestrial scanners, etc., use the segmentation method. The segmentation method groups points together with their neighbors based on how similar they are to each other. By looking at the points in a 3D space, it does a better job of identifying building points near or under vegetation. Neighborhood size is the resolution. Keep in mind, if the local neighborhood being evaluated is too small, many things will look flat. For example, the side of a tree looks flat if the area being evaluated is only a couple of inches. To learn more about LiDAR classification, read the blog series on this topic available at bloomerblegeo.com. And if you're considering Global Mapper or Global Mapper Pro, download a free trial today.